Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to get geolocation data from a user's GPS coordinates. Another cool thing you can do is access your user's current location. Every browser has a built-in navigator that can give you this information. The navigator will get the user's current longitude and latitude. Uh, you will see a prompt to allow or block this site from knowing your location your current location. The challenge can be completed either way as long as the code is correct. Uh, by selecting allow, you will see the text of the output phone ch change into your latitude and longitude. Here's code that does this. Okay, so um, yeah, if navigator.geolocation, navigator geolocation, current position, function of position, so yeah, navigator geolocation, uh, or get current position, and then it's feeding in the position. The position's a data thing, and we're adding it to the element of da data ID, which we have here, and it's empty, so we don't actually see anything there. And we're saying the inner HTML, we're adding the latitude, the position.chords.latitude, and the longitude, followed by a break, so we can expect a break in the line. Oops. <clears throat> so first, it checks geo or navigator.geolocation object exists. So it does this object if exist. If this exists, it's going to run this code. If it doesn't exist, it's going to skip that and go towards the end, and this will never ex execute. Uh, if it does, the get current position uh, method is called, which initi initiates an asynchronous request to the user's position. If the request is successful, the callback function is the met in the method runs. This function accesses the position of the object for the latitude. Uh, add the example code inside the script tag to check the user's current location and insert it into the HTML. Hmm. I think we just copy that and place it in here. Okay, so it's asked me to do my location. Um, yeah, run the tests. Okay. And it's got my G, oh, it took a while to pop up because it's an API request, so it's taking those kinds of things can take time. Um, yeah, um, I think we're gonna be good for that, for this one. In the next video, maybe there will be something more detailed about this, but here, you basically just need to print out this to the, the dashboard. I mean, we could refactor this so that it became a little bit more legible, um, you know. This needs to be indented. <clears throat> navigator.geolocation. Well, we could just say like like let navigate tool is equal to navigator geolocation, right? And so then we could change this navigator geolocation to be like this. Um, and then we've shortened up our function a lot because we're not duplicating our code. We could remove this function element and make this an arrow function. That would make it a little bit cleaner. Uh, and then <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, here what we want to have is like our, we can say like let d uh, data display equal this guy. And then so once we have our data display, we can just say data display dot enter HTML is equal to uh, this thing. So this is, this is still going to run the same way, except for it breaks the free code camp tools. I mean, it still works. You can see that it's got my GPS location here, but because it breaks the free code camp tools, I'm, I'm not really going to keep refactoring this. I was hoping that that was helpful, but my guess is it's just going to be confusing. So we'll just copy and paste the code that they have there and run the tests, and they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.